Welcome to today's video. We're diving into 100 multiple choice questions with answers. Take your time, check your understanding, and try to answer each question before we reveal the solution. Repetition is key. So feel free to watch this video as many times as needed to reinforce your knowledge. Stick around until the end it's all geared toward helping you ace your driving theory test. If you are interested in receiving the PDF file, we would appreciate it if you could leave a comment below. Let's get started. UK driving theory test practice questions multiple choices. 1. When approaching a stop sign, you must a slow down and proceed with caution. B. Come to a complete stop at the stop line. C. Give way to any traffic already on the road. D. All of the above. Correct answer is D. All of the above. 2. What is the speed limit for cars on a single carriageway? One lane each way outside of built up areas. A. 30 miles per hour. B. 40 miles per hour. C. 50 miles per hour. B. 60 miles per hour. Correct answer is C. 50 mph. 3. What does a flashing amber traffic light mean? A. Stop and wait for a green light. B. Proceed with caution. Giving way to pedestrians and other traffic. C. Turn right only. D. Turn left only. Correct answer is B. Proceed with caution. Giving way to pedestrians and other traffic. 4. It is illegal to drive while under the influence of A. Alcohol only. B. Drugs only. C. Alcohol or drugs. D. Neither alcohol nor drugs. Correct answer is C. Alcohol or drugs. 5. When overtaking a cyclist, you must leave a space of A. At least 50 centimeters to feet when the speed limit is less than 50 miles per hour. B. At least 1 meter 3.3 feet when the speed limit is more than 50 miles per hour. C. As much space as possible depending on the road conditions. D. No specific space requirement. Correct answer is B. At least 1 meter 3.3 feet when the speed limit is more than 50 miles per hour. 6. What is the minimum legal tire tread depth for cars in the UK? A 1 mm, B 2 mm, C 3 mm, D 4 mm. Correct answer is C 3 mm. 7. When approaching a zebra crossing, you must A slow down and proceed with caution. B stop and give way to pedestrians already crossing or waiting to cross. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D. Sound your horn to warn pedestrians. Correct answer is B. Stop and give way to pedestrians already crossing or waiting to cross. 8. What does a double white line in the center of the road mean? A. You can overtake a slow moving vehicle. B. You can park on either side of the line. C. You must not overtake unless it is safe to do so. And there are no oncoming vehicles. D. You must not cross the line at all. Correct answer is, C. You must not overtake, unless it is safe to do so, and there are no oncoming vehicles. 9. You are driving at night. When should you use your dip headlights? A. Only on unlit roads. B. Only in poor visibility conditions. C. Whenever driving at night, regardless of visibility. D. Never, as they can be distracting to other drivers. Correct answer is, C. Whenever driving at night, regardless of visibility. 10. You are driving on a motorway. What is the speed limit in the inside lane? A. 50 miles per hour. B. 60 miles per hour. C. 70 miles per hour. D. There is no specific speed limit. Correct answer is C. 70 miles per hour. 11. What is the legal blood alcohol limit for drivers in the UK? A. 0.02%. B. 0.05%. C. 0.08%. D. There is no legal limit. Correct answer is B0.05%. 12. You see a flashing blue light in your rear view mirror. What should you do? A. Ignore it and continue driving. D. Increase speed to get out of the way. C. Pull over to the left as soon as it is safe to do so. D. Stop immediately in the middle of the road. Correct answer is C. Pull over to the left. As soon as it is safe to do so. 13. When giving way at a roundabout, you must a signal right before entering the roundabout. D. Signal left before entering the roundabout. C. Give way to traffic already on the roundabout. Coming from your right. D. Give way to pedestrians crossing the roundabout. Correct answer is C. Give way to traffic already on the roundabout coming from your right. 
14. Question. What's the legal requirement? For carrying a warning triangle in your vehicle, a only when driving at night, d only when driving on motorways, c at all times when using the vehicle on the road. Correct answer is c at all times when using the vehicle on the road. 15. What does a school crossing patrol sign with flashing orange lights mean? A stop and give way to children crossing the road. B slow down and proceed with caution. C increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D school is closed ahead. Correct answer is A stop and give way to children crossing the road. 16. When approaching a level crossing, you must A stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green light to show. B slow down and proceed with caution. C increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D ignore the signals and proceed if no train is visible. Correct answer is A stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green light to show. 17. You see a pedestrian waiting to cross at a pelican crossing. What should you do? A stop and give way to the pedestrian. B continue driving as the pedestrian is not yet crossing. C sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. D increase speed to clear the crossing before the pedestrian starts crossing. Correct answer is A stop and give way to the pedestrian. 18. It is illegal to use a mobile phone while driving, A unless it is hands-free, and used for navigation purposes only, B only if you are caught doing so, C in all situations, even if the car is stationary at a red light, D only if you are a new driver. Correct answer is, C in all situations, even if the car is stationary at a red light. 19. What does a blue badge displayed in a car window signify? A. The driver is a learner driver. B. The driver is a healthcare professional. C. The driver is disabled and entitled to park can designated disabled parking base. D. The driver is a taxi driver. Correct answer is C. The driver is disabled and entitled to park can designated disabled parking base. 20. You are driving on a motorway. What should you do if your car breaks down? A. Stop on the hard shoulder and turn on your hazard lights. B. Continue driving to the next exit. C. Pull over onto the live lane and wait for help. D. Signal left and change lanes to get off the motorway. Correct answer is A. Stop on the hard shoulder and turn on your hazard lights. 21. What is the national speed limit for single carriageway roads? In built up areas, a 20 mph, D 30 miles per hour, C 40 miles per hour, D 50 mph. Correct answer is B 30 mph. 22. What does a continuous white line on the left hand side of the road mean? A you must not overtake. B you can overtake a slow moving vehicle with caution. C you can park on the left hand side of the road. D you must give way to oncoming traffic. Correct answer is A you must not overtake. 23. What should you do if you are involved in a minor non-injury accident? A. Drive away from the scene. B. Exchange details with the other driver ass involved. Even if there are no injuries, C. Report the incident to the police within 24 hours. D. All of the above. Correct answer is B. Exchange details with the other driver ass involved, even if there are no injuries. 24. When approaching a blind bent, you should a. Increase speed to get around the bend quickly. B. Slow down and sound your horn to warn oncoming traffic. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. D. Maintain your speed and hope for the best. Correct answer is C. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. 25. What is the recommended tire pressure for your car? A. The pressure recommended by the car manufacturer which can be found in the owner's manual or on a sticker inside the driver's door. D. The same pressure for all tires, regardless of car model. C. As high as possible for better fuel efficiency. D. As low as possible for a smoother ride. Correct answer is A. The pressure recommended by the car manufacturer, which can be found in the owner's manual or on a sticker inside the driver's door. 26. What does a temporary speed limit sign indicate? A. The national speed limit for that road type. B. The temporary speed limit in effect for a specific area or duration. C. Your recommended speed based on road conditions. D. The speed limit for overtaking other vehicles. Correct answer is 
be the temporary speed limit in effect for a specific area or duration. 27. When changing lanes on a motorway, you should a signal your intention to change lanes well in advance, b check your blind spot and use your mirrors. Before changing lanes, c increase your speed to get past slower vehicles, d assume other drivers will give way to you. Correct answer is a signal your intention to change lanes well in advance, b check your blind spot and use your mirrors. Before changing lanes, 28, you see a red traffic light with a green arrow pointing right. What should you do? A. Stop at the red light and wait for it to turn green before proceeding. B. Stop at the red light. Then proceed cautiously when it's safe to turn right, giving way to pedestrians and other traffic. C. Proceed straight ahead if it is safe to do so. D. Ignore the red light and turn right immediately. Correct answer is B. Stop at the red light. Then proceed cautiously when it's safe to turn right, giving way to pedestrians and other traffic. 29. What does a giveaway sign mean? A. You must slow down and proceed with caution. D. You must stop and give way to all traffic coming from your right. C. You have priority over other traffic. D. You can proceed if there is no oncoming traffic. Correct answer is B. You must stop and give way to all traffic coming from your right. 30. What should you do if you see a broken down vehicle on the hard shoulder of a motorway? A. Slow down and change lanes to avoid the vehicle. D. Maintain your speed and proceed as usual. C. Change lanes to the hard shoulder to offer assistance. D. Slow down and move into the next lane, giving the broken down vehicle plenty of space. Correct answer is D. Slow down and move into the next lane, giving the broken down vehicle plenty of space. 31. What is the legal minimum distance? You must keep from a large vehicle e.g. lorry, bus when following them on a single carriageway. A 10 meters 33 feet, D 20 meters 66 feet, C 30 meters 98 feet, D 40 meters 131 feet. Correct answer is D 40 meters 131 feet. 32. You are driving at night on a rural road. When should you use your full beam headlights? A never, as they can be dazzling to other drivers. D only on lit roads. C only when following another vehicle closely. D when there is no oncoming traffic or pedestrians within sight. Correct answer is D when there is no oncoming traffic or pedestrians within sight. 33. What does a no stopping sign mean? A you can stop briefly to pick up or drop off passengers. B you can stop for a short period to unload goods. C you cannot stop your vehicle at any time, even briefly. D. You cannot park your vehicle at any time. Correct answer is, C. You cannot stop your vehicle at any time. Even briefly. 34. You witness a road traffic accident. What should you do first? A. Drive away from the scene as soon as possible. D. Check for any injuries. And call emergency services if necessary. C. Take photos of the accident scene. D. Ignore the accident and continue driving. Correct answer is, B. Check for any injuries. And call emergency services, if necessary. 35. What is the legal alcohol limit for motorcyclists in the UK? A. 0.02%. B. 0.05%. C. 0.08%. B. There is no legal limit. Correct answer is, B. 0.05%. 36. What does a flashing red traffic light mean? A. Stop and wait for a green light. D. Proceed with caution, giving way to all traffic coming from your right. C. Increase speed to clear the junction quickly. D. Turn right only. Correct answer is B. Proceed with caution, giving way to all traffic coming from your right. 37. You are approaching a pedestrian crossing with a countdown timer. What should you do? A. Stop and wait for the pedestrian phase to end. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing. Before the pedestrian phase starts, D. Ignore the countdown timer. And proceed if there are no pedestrians crossing. Correct answer is, A. Stop. And wait for the pedestrian phase to end. 38. When parking on a hill. You should. A. Turn your wheels away from the curb if facing uphill. D. Turn your wheels towards the curb if facing uphill. C. Leave your car in neutral. D. Use the handbrake only. Correct answer is, 
a turn your wheels away from the curb. If facing uphill, 39, what is the recommended procedure? For reversing out of a parking space, a reverse at full speed to clear the space quickly. Do use your mirror sand check your blind spot before reversing. C. Rely solely on your rearview mirror for reversing. D. Reverse without signaling your intention. Correct answer is B. Use your mirror sand check your blind spot. Before reversing, 40. What is the meaning of a solid white line? With a broken white line alongside it, A. You must not overtake vehicles traveling in the lane. With the broken white line, B. You can overtake vehicles traveling in the lane. With the broken white line with caution, see the solid white line indicates the edge of the row. 40. What is the meaning of a solid white line? With a broken white line alongside it, A. You must not overtake vehicles traveling in the lane. With the broken white line, B. You can overtake vehicles traveling in the lane. With the broken white line with caution, see the solid white line indicates the edge of the row. D. There are no restrictions on overtaking in either lane. Correct answer is, A. You must not overtake vehicles. Traveling in the lane with the broken white line. 41. You are driving in a 30 miles per hour zone. What is the minimum stopping distance? You should allow in ideal conditions, A. 2 car lengths, B. 3 car lengths, C. 4 car lengths, D. 5 car lengths. Correct answer is, B. 3 car lengths. 42. What do a give way to oncoming traffic sign me? A. You have priority over oncoming traffic. D. You must stop and give way to all oncoming traffic. Even if they are not yet in sight, see slow down and proceed with caution. D. You can proceed. If there is no oncoming traffic immediately visible, correct answer is B. You must stop and give way to all oncoming traffic, even if they are not yet in sight. 43. When driving in fog, what should you use instead of your full beam headlights? A. Your hazard lights. D. Your fog lights and dipped headlights. C. Your high beam headlights. D. Your daytime running lights. Correct answer is B. Your fog lights and dipped headlights. 44. What is the legal requirement for wearing a seat belt in the UK? A. All front seat occupants must wear a seat belt. But rear seat occupants are not required to. D. All occupants of the vehicle regardless of age or seating position, must wear a seatbelt if one is available. See only children under the age of 12 must wear a seatbelt. D. There is no legal requirement to wear a seatbelt. Correct answer is, B. All occupants of the vehicle, regardless of age or seating position, must wear a seatbelt if one is available. 45. What does a no entry sign mean? A. You can enter the road but must give way to oncoming traffic. D. You can enter the road only if turning right. C. You are not allowed to enter the road in any direction. T. You can enter the road only if turning left. Correct answer is, C. You are not allowed to enter the road in any direction. 46. You are driving on a motorway and see a blue flashing light signal on an overhead gantry. What should you do? A. Ignore the signal and continue driving as usual. D. Pull over to the hard shoulder as soon as it is safe to do so. C. Increase your speed to get past slower vehicles. D. Change lanes to avoid the blue flashing lights. Correct answer is B. Pull over to the hard shoulder as soon as it is safe to do so. 47. You are approaching a level crossing with the barriers down and red lights flashing. What should you do? A. Stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green lights to show. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D. Ignore the signals and proceed if no train is visible. Correct answer is A. Stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green lights to show. 48. What does a continuous white line tainted across the center of the road mean? A. You can overtake a slow-moving vehicle with caution. B. You must not overtake unless it is safe to do so and there are no oncoming vehicles. C. You can park on either side of the line. D. You must not cross the line at all. Correct answer is, B. You must not overtake. Unless it is safe to do so, and there are no oncoming vehicles. 49. When is it illegal to use a sat-nav satellite navigation device while driving? A. When it is obstructing your view of the road. D. Only if you are a new driver. C. Never as they can be distracting to other drivers. 
D in all situations, even if the car is stationary at a red light. Correct answer is A. When it is obstructing your view of the row, 50. You are driving on a dual carriageway to lanes each way. What is the speed limit in the outside lane? A 50 mph. D 60 miles per hour C 70 mph. D there is no specific speed limit. Correct answer is B 60 mph. 51. What does a school crossing sign with flashing yellow lights mean? A stop and give way to children crossing the road. B slow down and proceed with caution. C increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D school is closed ahead. Correct answer is A stop and give way to children crossing the road. 52. You are driving in heavy traffic. What should you maintain a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you? A one car length. B two car lengths. C three car lengths. D for car lengths. Correct answer is B two car lengths. 53. What should you do if you are involved in a minor accident with damage to your vehicle? A drive away from the scene. B exchange details with the other driver ass involved. Even if there are no injuries, C report the incident to the police within 24 hours. D both B and C. Correct answer is D both B and C. 54. What is the recommended tire pressure? For a car under inflated tire warning light, A ignore the warning light and continue driving. D increase the tire pressure to the recommended level. As soon as possible, C pull over and check all four tires for damage. D drive slowly to the nearest tire repair shop. Correct answer is B increase the tire pressure to the recommended level as soon as possible. 55. You are driving at night and see a car approaching with its full beam headlights on. What should you do? A flash your headlights to signal them to turn them down. B look away from the approaching headlights and focus on the right side of the road. C increase your speed to get past them quickly. D turn on your full beam headlights in response. Correct answer is B look away from the approaching headlights and focus on the right side of the road. 56. What does a no U-turn sign mean? A. You can make a U-turn with caution. B. You can only make a U-turn if there are no oncoming vehicles. C. You are not allowed to make a U-turn at any time. D. You can only make a U-turn if there is a designated U-turn lane. Correct answer is C. You are not allowed to make a U-turn at any time. 57. What is the legal requirement for using a mobile phone while cycling? A. It is illegal to hold a mobile phone in your hand. While cycling, B. It is only illegal if you are caught doing so. C. Using a hands-free kit is permitted while cycling. D. There is no legal requirement regarding mobile phone use. Correct answer is A. It is illegal to hold a mobile phone in your hand while cycling. 58. You are driving on a motorway and see a lane close sign with a red X above it. What should you do? A. Ignore the sign and continue driving in the closed lane. D. Change lanes as soon as possible and avoid the closed lane. C. Slow down and proceed with caution in the closed lane. D. Flash your hazard lights to warn other drivers. Correct answer is B. Change lanes as soon as possible and avoid the closed lane. 59. What is the national speed limit for dual carriageways? Outside of built-up areas, a 40 miles per hour B 50 miles per hour C 60 miles per hour D 70 mph. Correct answer is C 60 mph. 60. You see a pedestrian waiting to cross at a zebra crossing. What should you do? A continue driving at a slow speed. B stop and give way to the pedestrian. C sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. D increase speed to clear the crossing before the pedestrian starts crossing. Correct answer is B stop and give way to the pedestrian. 61. You are driving in a 40 miles per hour zone and see a school crossing patrol sign with a lollipop lady holding a red sign. What should you do? A slow down and proceed with caution. B stop and give way to children crossing the road. C ignore the sign and continue driving. D sound your horn to warn children. Correct answer is B stop and give way to children crossing the road. 62. What does a no waiting sign mean? A. You can stop briefly to pick up or drop off passengers. B. You can stop for a short period to unload goods. 
so you cannot stop your vehicle at any time, even briefly. Do you cannot park your vehicle at any time? Correct answer is, so you cannot stop your vehicle at any time, even briefly. 63. What should you do if your car breaks down on a dual carriageway? A. Leave your car on the hard shoulder and turn on your hazard lights. B. Attempt to fix the car yourself on the side of the road. C. Drive your car to the nearest exit. D. Push your car to the central reservation. Correct answer is, A. Leave your car on the hard shoulder and turn on your hazard lights. 64. When driving on a motorway, what should you do if you see a broken down vehicle in the live lane? A. Change lanes to the hard shoulder to avoid the vehicle. B. Slow down and move into the next lane, giving the broken down vehicle plenty of space. C. Maintain your speed and proceed as usual. D. Stop and offer assistance to the broken down vehicle. Correct answer is, B. Slow down and move into the next lane, giving the broken down vehicle plenty of space. 65. What is the legal blood alcohol limit for drivers under the age of 21 in the UK? A 0.02%, B 0.05%, C 0.08%, D there is no legal limit. Correct answer is B 0.05%. 66. What is the recommended procedure for checking your blind spot before changing lanes? A glance over your shoulder quickly. D rely solely on your side mirror. C. Use only your rear view mirror. D. Ignore checking your blind spot and rely on your indicators. Correct answer is A. Glance over your shoulder quickly. 67. What does a bus lane sign mean? A. You can use the lane only if you are carrying a certain number of passengers. B. You can use the lane only at certain times of the day. C. You can use the lane only if you are a bus, taxi, or motorcycle. T. You can use the lane only if you are a blue badge holder. Correct answer is, C. You can use the lane only if you are a bus, taxi, or motorcycle. 68. What is the recommended tire pressure for your car? A. The pressure recommended by the car manufacturer, which can be found in the owner's manual or on a sticker inside the driver's door. D. The same pressure for all tires, regardless of car model. C. As high as possible for better fuel efficiency. D. As low as possible for a smoother ride. Correct answer is A. The pressure recommended by the car manufacturer, which can be found in the owner's manual or on a sticker inside the driver's door. 69. When approaching a level crossing with the barriers down and red lights flashing, you should A. Stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green lights to show. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D. Ignore the signals and proceed if no train is visible. Correct answer is A. Stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green lights to show. 70. You are driving at night and see a car approaching with its fog lights on. What should you do? A. Dim your headlights to avoid dazzling the other driver. D. Increase your speed to get past them quickly. C. Ignore the fog lights and continue driving as usual. D. Turn on your full beam headlights in response. Correct answer is A. Dim your headlights to avoid dazzling the other driver. 71. What does a no stopping, no waiting sign mean? A. You can stop briefly to pick up or drop off passengers. B. You can stop for a short period to unload goods. C. You cannot stop or wait your vehicle at any time. Even briefly. D. You cannot park your vehicle at any time. Correct answer is. C. You cannot stop or wait your vehicle at any time, even briefly. 72. When driving on a motorway, what should you do in the event of heavy fog? A. Maintain your speed and use your full beam headlights. B. Slow down significantly and use fog lights if available. C. Pull over onto the hard shoulder and wait for the fog to clear. D. Increase your speed to get out of the fog quickly. Correct answer is B. Slow down significantly and use fog lights if available. 73. What is the recommended procedure for approaching a roundabout? A. Indicate right and slow down before entering the roundabout. B. Indicate left and slow down before entering the roundabout. C. Maintain your speed and proceed straight through the roundabout. D. Do not indicate and proceed straight through the roundabout. Correct answer is A. Indicate right 
and slow down before entering the roundabout. 74. You are driving on a single carriageway and approaching a junction with a stop sign. What should you do? A slow down and proceed with caution. D. Come to a complete stop at the stop line and give way to all traffic coming from your right. C. Increase speed to clear the junction quickly. D. Ignore the sign and proceed. If there is no traffic coming from your right, correct answer is B. Come to a complete stop at the stop line and give way to all traffic coming from your right. 75. What is the legal requirement for a motorcyclist to wear a helmet in the UK? A. It is recommended but not mandatory. B. It is mandatory for all motorcyclists, regardless of age or experience. C. It is only mandatory for motorcyclists under the age of 18. D. There is no legal requirement to wear a helmet. Correct answer is B. It is mandatory for all motorcyclists, regardless of age or experience. 76. What does a dual carriageway sign mean? A. The road has two lanes in each direction separated by a central reservation d the road has one lane in each direction separated by a central reservation c the road has two lanes in each direction but no central reservation d the road has one lane in each direction but no central reservation correct answer is a the road has two lanes in each direction separated by a central reservation 77 you are driving in a 30 miles per hour zone what is the recommended stopping distance in ideal conditions? A. 1 car lengths B. 2 car lengths C. 3 car lengths D. 4 car lengths Correct answer is C. 3 car lengths 78. What does a blue triangle sign with a white bicycle symbol mean? A. Cycle lane ahead B. No cycling permitted C. Shared pedestrian and cycle path D. Cyclists dismount Correct answer is A. Cycle lane ahead 79. What does a dip headlight sign mean? A. You must turn on your full beam headlights. B. You must turn on your fog lights. C. You must switch off your engine and park your vehicle. D. You must switch your headlights to dipped beam. Correct answer is, D. You must switch your headlights to dipped beam. 80. You are driving at night and see an emergency vehicle approaching with flashing blue lights and a siren. What should you do? A. Ignore the emergency vehicle and continue driving. D. Increase your speed to get out of the way. C. Pull over to the left as soon as it is safe to do so. And stop your engine. D. Slow down and flash your headlights. To acknowledge the emergency vehicle. Correct answer is C. Pull over to the left. As soon as it is safe to do so and stop your engine. 81. What is the legal requirement for wearing a seatbelt in the UK? A. All front seat occupants must wear a seat belt, but rear seat occupants are not required to. D. All occupants of the vehicle, regardless of age or seating position, must wear a seat belt if one is available. C. Only children under the age of. Correct answer is, B. All occupants of the vehicle, regardless of age or seating position, must wear a seat belt if one is available. 82. What does a no overtaking sign mean? A. You can overtake with caution if there is enough space. B. You are not allowed to overtake any vehicles at any time. C. You can only overtake slower moving vehicles. D. You can only overtake larger vehicles. Correct answer is B. You are not allowed to overtake any vehicles at any time. 83. You are driving in a 40 miles per hour zone and see a temporary speed limit sign indicating 20 miles per hour. What is the legal speed limit? A 40 miles per hour, as the temporary sign is not enforceable. D 20 miles per hour, as the temporary speed limit takes precedence. C the speed limit is unclear, so you should proceed with caution. D ignore the temporary sign and continue driving at 40 miles per hour. Correct answer is B 20 miles per hour, as the temporary speed limit takes precedence. 84. What does a horse crossing sign mean? A. You must stop and give way to any horses crossing the road. B. Slow down and proceed with caution, as there may be horses in the vicinity. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing before any horses appear. D. Ignore the sign and continue driving as usual. Correct answer is A. You must stop and give way to any horses crossing the road. 85. When driving on a motorway, 
What should you do if you experience a tire blowout, a brake heart, then come to a stop as quickly as possible? D. Maintain your speed and steer towards the hard shoulder. C. Slowly ease off the accelerator and steer gently towards the hard shoulder. D. Swerve to avoid other vehicles and come to a stop on the live lane. Correct answer is C. Slowly ease off the accelerator and steer gently towards the hard shoulder. 86. What is the recommended procedure? For reversing out of a parking bay, a reverse at full speed to clear the space quickly. Do use your mirrors and check your blind spot before reversing. C. Rely solely on your rearview mirror for reversing. D. Reverse without signaling your intention. Correct answer is B. Use your mirrors and check your blind spot. Before reversing. 87. What does a flashing amber traffic light mean? A stop and wait for the light to turn green. D. Proceed with caution. Giving way to all traffic coming from your right. C. Increase speed to clear the junction quickly. D. Ignore the signal and proceed if there is no oncoming traffic. Correct answer is B. Proceed with caution. Giving way to all traffic coming from your right. 88. You are driving on a motorway and see a services sign. What does this mean? A. There is a breakdown lane ahead. D. There is a junction ahead where you can exit the motorway. C. There is a rest area with fuel stations and other facilities ahead. D. There is a speed camera zone ahead. Correct answer is C. There is a rest area with fuel stations and other facilities ahead. 89. What does a red triangle sign at the white car symbol mean? A. Give way to oncoming traffic. D. No stopping or parking. C. Give way to pedestrians crossing the road. D. School crossing ahead. Correct answer is C. Give way to pedestrians crossing the road. 90. You are driving at night and see a pedestrian wearing dark clothing. Walking along the side of the road. What should you do? A. Ignore the pedestrian and continue driving. D. Flash your headlights to warn the pedestrian. C. Slow down and increase your following distance. D. Increase your speed to get past the pedestrian quickly. Correct answer is C. Slow down and increase your following distance. 91. What does a bus stop sign mean? A. You can stop briefly to pick up or drop off passengers. B. You can stop for a short period to unload goods. C. You cannot stop your vehicle at any time, even briefly. D. You cannot park your vehicle at any time. Correct answer is A. You can stop briefly to pick up or drop off passengers. 92. What does a one-way sign mean? A. You can only turn right at this junction. B. You can only turn left at this junction. C. You are only allowed to travel in one specific direction. On this road, D. You must give way to all traffic coming from your right. Correct answer is C. You are only allowed to travel in one specific direction on this road. 93. You are driving on a motorway and see a lane close sign with an amber flashing arrow above it. What should you do? A. Ignore the sign and continue driving in the closed lane. D. Change lanes as soon as possible and avoid the closed lane. C. Slow down and proceed with caution in the closed lane. D. Flash your hazard lights to warn other drivers. Correct answer is B. Change lanes as soon as possible and avoid the closed lane. 94. What does a no right turn sign mean? A. You can only turn right if there are no oncoming vehicles. D. You can only turn right if you are a bus, taxi, or motorcycle. C. You are not allowed to turn right at any time. D. You must turn right at the next junction. Correct answer is C. You are not allowed to turn right at any time. 95. When approaching a pedestrian crossing with a countdown timer. What should you do if the timer reaches zero and the red pedestrian signal is still showing? A. Stop and wait for the green pedestrian signal. Before proceeding, B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing. Before any pedestrians start crossing, D. Ignore the signal and proceed. If there are no pedestrians crossing, correct answer is A. Stop and wait for the green pedestrian signal before proceeding. 96. You see a car approaching with its hazard lights flashing on the hard shoulder of a motorway. What should you do? A. Change lanes to avoid the vehicle. B. Slow down and move into the next lane, giving the broken down vehicle plenty of space. C. Maintain your speed and proceed as usual. D. 
Do you stop and offer assistance to the broken down vehicle? Correct answer is B. Slow down and move into the next lane, giving the broken down vehicle plenty of space. 97. What is the recommended procedure for changing lanes on a single carriageway? A. Indicate your intention to change lanes well in advance. D. Check your blind spot and use your mirrors. Before changing lanes, C. Increase your speed to get past slower vehicles. D. Assume other drivers will give way to you. Correct answer is A and B both. 98. What does a dual carriageway road ahead sign mean? A. The road ahead has two lanes in each direction, separated by a central reservation. B. The road ahead has one lane in each direction, separated by a central reservation. C. The road ahead has two lanes in each direction but no central reservation. D. The road ahead has one lane in each direction, but no central reservation. Correct answer is A. The road ahead has two lanes in each direction, separated by a central reservation. 99. You are driving in a 50 miles per hour zone and see a school crossing patrol sign with a lollipop lady holding a red sign. What should you do? A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Stop and give way to children crossing the road. C. Ignore the sign and continue driving. D. Sound your horn to warn children. Correct answer is B. Stop and give way to children crossing the road. 100. What should you do if you are involved in a minor accident with no injuries? The damage to your vehicles. A. Drive away from the scene. B. Exchange details with the other driver ass involved. Even if there are no injuries, C. Report the incident to the police within 24 hours. D. Both B and C. Correct answer is D. Both B and C. 101. When approaching a level crossing with the barriers down and red lights flashing, you should A. Stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green lights to show. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Increase speed to clear the crossing quickly. D. Ignore the signals and proceed if no train is visible. Correct answer is A. Stop and wait for the barriers to rise and the green lights to show.